spend the rest of my life with the same one, same one. Ain't no I and T. I'ma bring you good love, just come with me. Baby, you're all the company. Hey, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am your favorite girl, A. Marie. If you're new, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're here to do our very first monthly favor for 2021. Baby girl. Y'all, let me stop saying that. I always say that. But I did not do a end of the year favorites. The whole reason why I didn't is because basically everything that's in this month's favorites is what I've been loving all 2020. Okay? If you guys want to see what items I have in this month's favorite, then just keep watching. But before we go any further, I would love for you guys to hit the subscribe button as well as the notification. Give this video a thumbs up for more monthly favorites as well as comment down below. Okay, you guys, it's a quite a few stuff, so we're going to like run it real fast. So the first thing we're going to talk about is this Crim Shop double cleanse this is the two-in-one facial foam wash it's a daily cleanser and a makeup remover it has witch hazel in it and lemon and green tea and it's supposed to be for acne control okay you guys i hauled this like way back in 2020 and never used it because i was working on some other products this one here i just busted open like towards the end of 2020 and you guys if y'all don't have the creme shop products anywhere around get on their website get this and their swipe right brow gel the creme shop is a game changer now the only con to this is when i wash my face and it's time to rinse off if me putting water on my face and rubbing my face at the same time gives me that rubbery feel and that rubbery sound uh, it makes me cringe you guys it makes me cringe so this is how i do it i put it on a little goes a long way i'm telling you it foams up and lathers up really good get all up in there and then i take a clean face towel wet it up really good and wipe off y'all been using this for at least a year or two now this is the cetaphil daily facial cleanser this is for normal to oily skin it removes excess oil without drying clinic clinically proven to deep clean your skin this will be in the empties here in a minute because i'm like this far gone i use this only in the mornings when i get up this jump starts my day it makes your skin feel so soft oh my god i do need to go back and pick up another facial cleanser as well as the moisturizer because girl it does something for me now my other baby which is about to be in my empties is my glow recipe water watermelon glow this is core tight toner it's hydrating and it's a pore refiner y'all i swear at first when i started using this i bought it because it's glow recipe i love glow recipe i have the watermelon facial mist too like you guys are gonna see this in my february shop mustache because it's high end but you guys i bought this just to see what the hype is about and you can tell what the hype is about right at first i was not really paying attention to my skin when i would use this but something told me to pay attention to my skin and when i say i never even knew i had pores until like maybe two years ago and i've been having this for maybe a year maybe six months so i started paying attention to it so you guys like the pores are shrinking and it's a good thing because you don't see all the cradles and dips and texture all in my face when I do my makeup. So, uh, this is a lifetime fave. This is a holy grail. 
I do have to get another one. I use this day and night and I never miss, okay? Do I really need to say why I love this bronzer? The Morphe Leader Bronzer. Y'all, y'all know this is a favorite. And this is why I did not do a yearly favorite last year because I was still using all the yearly favorites. Something very new to me is the Crim Shop. Uh, y'all, pause, 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 because it just happened. I've been killing videos left and right. You guys, do y'all know as I'm feeling, filming this right now, I have a super bad earache and your girl is still committed. I was not going to film as of last night. I was like scratched at this ear is like taking me out. You know what? No, get your ass up and film. Okay. So if y'all see me twitch like this or anything, it's because this ear is giving very bad sharp pains and it's been happening since yesterday to the crim shop. I am silky matte primer and setting spray. This is supposed to be a 12 hour plus makeup setting spray i don't know about 12 hours okay don't know about 12 hours but you guys this is good if you like a mattified face like no shine whatsoever get it and like the bottle is cute y'all can see how much i didn't use i am not playing with y'all black radiance sent me over a skincare package um, I want a giveaway that they were doing and it was me and two other people. I got to choose two other people to get this package. That skincare package they gave, girl, it's good, okay? This daily butter bead moisturizer, even though it's a sample size, you guys, look. I was putting this on right before doing my makeup every time and girl it does have beads in it but you guys you really don't feel it's like the beads melt it's almost like the beads melt into your skin and your skin feels so velvety non-sticky like it brightens up your skin make your skin look real moisturized and hydrated black radiance i need a full size okay i need a full size Y'all go buy that for real. Now, the next product y'all should already know. My Nabla Skin Glazing Adults Only. Y'all, it doesn't look like I use this at all. And I use it so much. This is so great for melanin girls. Oh my God. If you like deep blushes and you like a blush that really matches your your skin, this is a good one. Now it is a high shine type of blush, but if you use a light hand and not go overboard like me all the time, this blush comes out beautiful. Moving on, y'all, I'm trying to get through it quick because there's a lot of things here and i haven't been liking to take up too much of y'all time so we're gonna move on very fast my l'oreal infallible full wear concealer and almond y'all know this is holy grail holy grail okay i have the foundation somewhere close by close by y'all know these two are a match made in heaven for me for me this foundation is the best drugstore foundation and i used to always say my maybellines were the best drugstore foundations since this came into my life i love me some maybelline i would never let my maybelline fit me's go but uh, this here baby girl this one is in deep golden i cannot do without i can't i can't i can't in the concealer, I have many shades, but almond is my favorite. Once again, Black Radiance Baked Blush and Toasted Almond. Ooh. Another great blush to have if you are a deeper skin tone. My color or uh, my color or maybe two shades darker, 
this could work either for bronzer or to what can i call it like bronze up your skin but also give that extra dimension to your skin because this is a blush and i love it as a blush but if i wanted to put this on just as a bronzer it will work now my all may you guys know i did a review i think that was in 2020 or 2019 i did a review on the new all may foundation concealer and i have found a blush and i talked all about that in that video so i will link it up in the card because i don't want to spend too much time a all may product that worked for our skin tone so when I seen Wildberry, I was like, mm, girl, let me try. Maybe it's going to be faint. Maybe it's going to be ashy or what? Maybe it is a notch down from adults only. It is a notch down. This one is just a matte. This one is shimmer. Pick and choose, okay? Pick and choose your poison. Something very, very funny. You guys, y'all know I talked about this Rimmel Stay Matte for, I think, since 2019. And I told you guys I just couldn't get it. I hated it. Y'all, this is in toffee. Why? Why all of this month I've been using a whole lot of toffee and been liking it? How does that even work? Okay, how does it even work? I've been hating this and been saying like, I don't get it. I don't see it working for me. I, I just couldn't. When Maybelline first came out with these, I told you guys, I wanted tubes like this for my own lip gloss line and I can't find them nowhere, first of all. But second of all, I had got like at least five shades of this lip gloss because I wanted to do like this whole review and see what they about. And I can't even remember if I did that review, but uh, Topaz, which is this one, and Ice, I need like two backups of this. If y'all don't see me wear my lip gloss, my niece lip gloss, it's going to be this lip gloss. It has that minty feel, but it also is like very high shot and very smooth, non-sticky. I lie, it is a little sticky. If you put too much on, it creases, it gathers right here in the corner of your mouth, which I think is so disgusting. But if you put enough on, you're good. But if you put too much, you're screwed. Okay, don't, don't say I didn't warn you. But these are really good. Now let's talk about the highlighters. The highlighters, of course, Maybelline, Molten Gold, y'all know. I've been using this for a while, been loving it for a while. I don't put a dent in it. It's a small dent, but it's there. I can actually see the painting, and y'all know this is just not going nowhere. But this new one, this new one that I've been trying actually really got my attention. This is the Wet n Wild Hello Halo Blush Highlighter Duo. Duo in after sex glow granted i only use this side and i only use this side for the highest parts of my cheek like right now that's not this but i use it in the highest part of my cheek and my inner tear duct girl on the tip of that nose a little line down the nose or right there on that cupid's butt like this i like it if you go too heavy-handed and you're my skin tone it will become ashy but if you know how to play with some highlighters and play with them right you will get a beautiful light champagne color i have yet to use this peachy side yet but i'm debating on if i should use it for like a eyelid color because peachy not gonna look good on my skin oh all right you guys these knobby lip liners i told you guys my lip liner is way over there but I told you guys, I found a crap ton on Amazon for very cheap. I do have it linked down below in my Amazon storefront. But you guys got to keep checking it because the last time 
I linked these, they were out of stock. And it makes me scared because I almost have every single color I could think of. And I love these liners. I love the fact that they're so long. They are pencil, but you guys, they're so creamy and opaque. Girl, they cream me and I love it. And I'm scared that Amazon is not going to sell them anymore. It's going to drive me crazy because you guys are going to get mad because I'm not going to stop using them. Look how long these things are. This one here is black brown this is the one that i've been using a whole lot lately so that's why that one is in this month's favorites mascaras y'all know maybelline what is it called the colossal big shot mascara this is the one with makeup shayla this one here is bae now big colossal big shot whatever you call it this one has always been in Maybelline's line, but Makeup Shayla put her name to it. Your girl got it. Finally used it. I've been trying to hold on to it because it's Makeup Shayla, but I finally used it and I love it, of course. Now, the L'Oreal Bambi Eye. First of all, I was interested in this mascara all because it was Bambi. Okay, let's just... And if y'all think of Bambi, the Disney movie, y'all remember that little deer with these long, beautiful eyelashes? So, girl, I had to get it to see if it did that to me. Now, it don't give me that Bambi eye, but it does thicken and lengthen my lashes, especially the bottoms. So, all right, we got a few more products. Last couple of products. Elf Jelly Pop. Do I really need to say? Do I really need to say? I'm going to do a dupe video just for fun. If you guys would like to see it, I'm going to do it anyway. Off camera if you guys don't want to see it. But if you guys want to see me do a dupe video and do, you know, one side milk, one side elf, do everything, the whole makeup shebang like normal and like check back in at the end of the night and see which side looks the best or tell you guys which one i like best i do have on hydro grip today and i can say hydro grip is more slippery when you first apply it but it's just as tacky as the elf so i think if i never had the hydro grip i would be just fine because I love this elf. Hello, holla at your girl. The next, the next favorite is the elf 16 hour wear camo concealer in deep chestnut. Now, I don't know if you guys remember a few, a year ago, when did these come out? 2019? Okay, when they came out, I had picked up a shade and that shade was yellow but olive yellow and i told you guys i couldn't work with that it just looked too too far off for me for the undertone for me and then i went back and got another shade and then it ended up being way too light i thought i was done for okay i was like i would never be able to get this i'll never be able to try Girl, I was watching Andrea Renee, and she said she was in Deep Chestnut. And y'all know that's my go-to girl when I need to find something that I don't know if it's my shade or not. But whatever shade she gets, I go and get. And nine times out of ten, it works for me. Does that tell y'all how much it works for me? I can't get enough of this. I use it to clean up my eyebrows. I conceal, highlight with it, of course. I use it as an eyeshadow base. My last two products is going to be this bullet lipstick from Morphe. This is the Mega Matte Bullet Lipstick in Confess. First of all, I haven't really been liking bullet lipsticks. I rarely buy bullet lipsticks because I love a good liquid lipstick. Second of all, Confess looks like a cool tone brown. And... 
I bought it because she looked brighter, richer on the website than what she really came. And um, once I tried it, she stays on like a liquid lipstick. She's very smooth, but yet tough to work with, like tough to the lips, but smooth enough to not tear up your lips. But once you put her on, she doesn't move. All right, and last but not least, you guys, the new Maybelline Matte Ink Liquid Lipsticks and Espresso Enthusiast. This came out in the coffee line, and you guys, I want the whole coffee line. I know a lot of people say these liquid lipsticks leave that sticky feel. Okay, trick to it. Put this liquid lipstick on, let it dry, and tap a little translucent powder on it. You're done. Finito. No more sticky. Okay. So that is it, you guys. That is everything that I've been loving for the month of January. Mostly all drugstore. Nope, all drugstore. Next month, let's see out of the high-end products that I chose for Shop My Stash. Let's see what becomes my favorite. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. I love you all. Don't go anywhere unless you subscribe. Do not click off unless you subscribe. Gave this video a thumbs up, comment it down below, as well as click the notification bell. The next video should be our February Shop Our Stash. Okay, and you don't want to miss that. I will catch y'all in the next one. Deuces.